Hey everyone, today at Dollar Tree I found these things. Uh, Adventure Squad, let the adventure begin. So yeah, this, these are their new, like, uh, special exclusive figure, like original figures, uh, similar to the Final Faction toys. Unlike Final Faction, though, uh, there doesn't appear to be a cartoon or a comic to go along with these guys. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I found the whole set, all four of them. So, yeah, these looked kind of cool, like, they definitely stood out. I like, I like these, they look kind of cool, so I'm... Really curious uh, to check these out. Uh, let's see, packaging is pretty simple. Let's uh, start with, uh, let's see, what's his name? Freddy here. Uh, let's see, fireman guy includes firefighter chief axe. Uh, oh, it's actually painted. So that's nice, and it's a uh, shiny silver. Let's see, you can kind of see how the articulation works. They're pretty simple figures. Uh, kind of look like the old Justice League Unlimited toys. Huh, interesting. Uh, let's see, face details are okay, although on the back you can see like a CGI render of what he's like ideally supposed to look like, and yeah, the eyes and eyebrows are all are dark brown, same as his beard, but this one, they're lighter brown, so he kind of looks like, he kind of looks surprised uh, all the time. So let's read a little bit about uh, Freddy. Skills, fire control, tool of choice, firefighter chief axe, special ability, tidal wave. So wait, what? So can he like summon water or something? Uh, oh, okay, he has like little water gun cannons on his robot arm? What is this guy's story? <laughs> okay, let's uh, get Freddy out of, the, uh, out of the package. Now, they're held in with these little plastic, uh, I don't even know what these are called. Okay, and Freddy is now out of his box, and he is a pretty decent little figure. I'm really surprised. Like, the art, like, the articulation is nothing amazing. Like I said, it's kind of like one of the old Justice League Unlimited toys, and, uh, yeah, in articulation and design, and holy crap, they actually painted the back of him? Wow. Huh. It's, the paint's not splotchy or anything either, like, it's not amazing. There's some little bits where they miss some, like, at the edge of his uh, pant leg there. There's, like, a scratch on his glove there. I don't know what happened there. Like, anyway, let's put the axe in his hand and see if... Oh, that actually fits. Okay, it falls out really easy. Let's try his robot arm. Okay, it fits a little bit more snug in there, so he can... Okay, it still fell out. Okay, uh, let's put Freddy to the side there and look at the next guy, uh, Manuel. Okay, uh, let's see. I like that Manuel has, like, a little pencil mustache. His head is... The articulation on him is a little stiff. I have to move it around. What is that? Does he have a barcode on the back of his neck, like... Like Hitman? Probably a splotch of paint there. Okay, includes a rescue pack. Okay, so this guy's like, uh, he's the doc of the group. Uh, let's see. Skills, emergency medical services, tool of choice, rescue pack, special ability, wrapped restore. What's that mean? Whatever. You know, I see the little render of him there. Uh, is that gonna, yep. He's got like a white spot on his hair here. I don't know if that's glare or if he actually is supposed to have a stripe in his hair, but yeah, it's not there on the actual toy. So yeah, let's uh, get him out of his uh, little thingies here. And so there we go, here's Manuel. And uh, yeah, like Freddy over there, he is a really nice little figure. I like these. The material is like really nice. Like it doesn't feel like a... Like, it doesn't feel like a dollar action figure. This feels, like, comparable to, like, the old Justice League Unlimited figures. Although, uh, with the proportions of these guys, I'm thinking the idea was probably more rescue heroes. Which, kind of weird to be knocking off rescue heroes. Uh, you miss the boat by about 15 years or so. I remember rescue heroes being around, like, uh... When I was in elementary school, I think, I think I just barely missed the boat on uh, the age demographic for those. So, 
yeah, really nice. That like he's even these are painted all the way around. Let's get his little uh, rescue pack out of here. Let's see, can that fit? Wow, it actually fits. Holy, and it's not coming out either. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> like it fits in his hand really snug. How does that? How? <laughs> How do they do this? Okay, these are these are really fun. I'm really enjoying myself with these. These are better than like those Marvel figures, like the official like Marvel toys that I found a while ago at a Rite Aid. Like those were just cheap, nasty garbage compared to these things. Okay, so here we got the uh, the sole female of the group, Marina, and she comes with little swim fins, speed swim fins, these little uh, scuba flipper shoes things. I don't know what the name, I guess swim fins. And then on the back, uh, skills, deep sea rescue, tool of choice, speed swim fins, special ability deep dive, and there we got the render of her. And on the front we can see there's a couple of paint applications missing. Also her head is a bit smaller on the actual figure than it looks uh, on the render there. So out of all of these four guys, uh, yeah, kind of unfortunate the one female character kind of got shortchanged when it came to sculpt and paint. Material-wise, though, like, it's still the same material. It's really good material. Like, this feels like a decent action figure. On the back, uh, let's see. Kind of looks like you can plug something into our back. Maybe they're going to put out accessories later. I've seen for Final Faction, they do have, like, accessory packs now for those. Okay, let's get out her uh, swim fins here. Okay, there's one. Why couldn't they just have both of them held in with one of these things? All right, so I'm assuming these go on our feet. There's, like, holes, so, uh, let's see. Holy crap. That is really cool. That is such a clever thing for, like, uh, a scuba character to have, like, those little uh, shoes. Oh, sorry, I stand her up with them. Oh, that looks so neat. Can she stand on one foot? If I were to balance her, like, maybe she would. Okay, oh, I'm, I can see if, uh, let's see, can she hold Freddy's... Whoa, it fits perfectly! It still falls out pretty easily, but... Okay, yeah, so the accessories are apparently, like, interchangeable. Let's try, uh, Manuel's little rescue pack thing. Yep, that fits, too. Do they have holes on their feet? Can they wear... Uh, they can't wear the swim fins. The swim fins, I guess, are exclusive to Marina here. Oh, crap, I don't remember which was which. Which was right, which was left. I guess they're interchangeable. There's no L or R anywhere on the swim fins. So I guess, yeah, any, I guess either foot, you can have them go, yeah, they're identical, okay. So yeah, so far, really enjoying these, so one, le uh, one left, uh, let's see, Marshall includes long arm of the law, we have like a little thingy, and here we got Marshall here, he's a pretty cool design, I like little sunglasses, and the little uh, police hat, that's cool. And then here at the render, uh, looks pretty good. I think his head might be a little bit smaller, I don't know. Okay, so let's see, skills, crime fighting, tool of choice, long arm of the law, special ability, catch em cuff. And one of the funny things with Marshall, his long arm of the law claw thing here has like a little handle that sticks out the back of his box. All right, Marshall, let's get you out of your uh, your box here and uh, cut that one. And there he is, he's free. And uh, let's see, I, yeah, again, really good figure. In fact, I, let's see, did the male characters all have the same legs? Oh, the male characters all have different legs. Yeah, they don't have like reused body parts. That's really interesting. You'd think with cheap figures, they'd be all about, like, reusing body parts, but actually, yeah, they're all, like, unique. Maybe in the future, if they put out, like, future figures, they'll 
uh, reuse some body parts or repaint some characters, uh, have variation or whatever. Just a bit of splotchy paint on his shoulder there, but yeah, overall, really nice figures. I'm surprised. And for only like $1.25, these are very decent, decently made figures. I see these like becoming a bit of a collectible in the future. What is this thing on his shoulder? What is that? Weird. All right, let's uh, pop his long arm of the law. Yeah. For some reason, there's two of these little strappy things holding it in, and that was not necessary. Okay, uh, I guess it... Oh. How does this... Oh. Well, it does fit right in his hand. I was thinking that handle looked way too thick, but actually, yeah, it fits right in. All right, so, um, let's get manual over here. So, uh, what's he... He can, like, oh, okay, so he, he can hook it around their waist and drop them. Okay. Okay, what about Marina? She's way skinnier. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, if he holds her in this thing, he'll just have to hope that she complies. All right, so, yeah, there's the Adventure Squad from Dollar Tree. These are fun little figures. I like these guys. These are cool. Uh, I'll definitely be picking up more of these if they put more out in the future. I'm hoping these do well. Uh, they look really nice. They're colorful. They're made of good material. They have decent articulation, which is, like, really, like, really amazing for the, uh, yeah, the price on these things, like, for $1.25, you're really getting your money's worth with these. They're really fun little figures. I could definitely see, if I was a kid, I would, like, just, I'd get such a kick out of these. Oh, and there's little, oh, there's little details on them. Look at that. There's, like, a little, uh, beep, beep, beep thing on his wrist there. He's got some kind of little shield on his shoulders. That's nice. Does Freddy have anything like that? Let's see. He's got some, like kind of cyborg detail on his arm there. Um, Four-star group. Yeah, on the back it says four-star group. Huh. So did Team Four-star make these guys? Yeah. Unfortunately, I'd say Marina's probably the weakest of the figures, just because, like, the head sculpt is... Like, it's good, but it's really small. Also, her, like, like, I understand why she's skinnier. She's, like, the one female character, and the males all have, like, their uh, bodies like this. She's gonna have a body like this, because, it, yeah, it's kind of a Justice League Unlimited mixed with Rescue Heroes style, I think. I really wish there was something to, like, clip on her back, because, like, that's bugging me so much. It looks like something should plug in there. And then here's Marshall. Oh, you know what? With the, like, big shoulders and those big shoulder pads, he just needs a helmet and he could be a Judge Dredd character. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Adventure Squad. These are really cool figures. Hope you enjoyed this. So, yeah.